everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here today I'm gonna to share with you some ideas for a date night outfit because Valentine's Day is in a couple of days so I thought it's perfect timing to just give you some ideas some inspiration if you're struggling to put an outfit together most of the items that I will be showing you today are uh, have been in my wardrobe for a long time so this is more of a styling video to give you some ideas how to put things together that you probably already already have in your wardrobe. So let's jump into my reel and I'll show you what I've got for you. So I've got five outfits for you today and they're really outfits for very different occasions. Maybe you're going to the cinema with your date, maybe you're going to a restaurant, maybe you're going somewhere fancy, maybe you're just going for a walk. So I thought I will try to cover all of those. So we're going to start with a pretty casual outfit. I'm going to stay in this slip dress. This slip dress is 100% silk and this is from Lily Silk. I'm actually going to go into a white pair of sort of like cowboy boots. Um, no idea where my socks are so we're just going to go bare feet. However, you guys, I never wear shoes without socks. Some of you ask me in the comments below if I always wear boots with no socks. I always wear socks. It's just that I'm a lazy person. I don't know where my socks are and I ain't gonna go and get them now. I really like the combination of a heavy boot with a very feminine light dress. You could absolutely go for more of a military style boot, maybe a pair of lace-up black boots, something like that, just up to you. And I'm actually gonna pop a denim jacket over. Depending where you live, uh, you can layer this outfit up if you live somewhere cold, you could put a turtleneck underneath this slip dress, a t-shirt, any kind of top you like. I am just going to go like this and I'm going to roll up the sleeve a little bit. And that's pretty much the outfit complete. I would just throw maybe a necklace over, grab my bag, I'm going to grab my Valentino spike and that's the outfit done. And I love wearing things like that that you can layer. Because, for example, you're going to the cinema and then you're going to a cafe. In the cafe, you can take your denim jacket off and there you're wearing this beautiful, feminine, sexy at the same time, little slip dress. Love the combination of colors. And like I said, if you pop a white t-shirt or a white turtleneck um, underneath the slip dress, that will be nice with the boots. You can also go for a jumper over the slip dress if you want to layer on top. But this is very comfortable. You can put a pair of tights underneath as well if it's um, cold outside. What do you think? Would you wear something like this on a date? I definitely would. I'm a casual, comfort kind of girl. This was our outfit number one. And now I'm going to go into pretty much a completely different outfit. We're going to go into some leather trousers and some stilettos. A bit of wiggle into some leather leggings. I mean, these are faux leather, but still require some wiggling to get into them. And I'm gonna go into a pair of Louboutins. This is just uh, like a pointy toe stiletto. I can never get the name right, and there will always be a person in the comment section who will keep telling me that I'm wrong about the name. I probably bought these good six five years ago, so I can't remember which ones I bought, but but I do love them. For me, this are a pair of shoes that you put on and immediately you feel like a different person, you walk differently, you carry yourself differently, and if you pair them with a pair of leather trousers or leather look trousers, that's a whole different story. And I am just wearing a blazer. This one is from Marks and Spencers, but you guys, I will find you dupes or similar items and will leave everything in the description box below. And as you can see, the neckline is quite low. I have a few options. You can put a little tank top underneath. There are some really nice ones that have like lacy designs that will look very cute. You can go without a top, like I am wearing here. I have a very low plunge bra. This one is from Wonder Bra, and this is my favorite strapless bra. They hold really well, and they don't rub, they don't hurt, um, so yeah. And because it's a low neckline, I would like to put a necklace on. This one is from Pamela Card, and it's a Canadian brand. They make uh, everything by hand. 
and it's gold jewelry. They kindly sent me this necklace and I got to choose the necklace. I'll leave the link below for you guys if you want to see it. And just a little bit of jewelry I think always elevates an outfit. So we have the nude stilettos. You could absolutely go for a black shoe, but I do like a nude shoe because it makes your legs even longer, um, which is a nice thing on a date night, right? And then the blazer, and I would just grab a little clutch, and you could match it to your shoes, you can match it to your blazer. You don't have to go for white, you could actually go for a colorful blazer, that would look fantastic as well. And this is our date outfit number two ready. I'm definitely one of the people that um, I don't like to reveal too much. Uh, I don't really do, you know, very skinny dresses, I don't do very short dresses. But for me, this is a nice outfit and at the same time, you do look sexy. And you know, like this also, you could probably go from work straight to the date if you just take your top off from underneath the blazer and change your shoes. You know what I mean? So yeah, this is definitely my kind of date outfit. Skinny jeans, all leggings, a blazer a heel and a little clutch and we're ready to go and also guys if you are scared of you know this situation opening or something like that i would always suggest buying some boot tape and putting it right here and then like this you glue it to your skin it's not painful at all i know that tape very well as a model we have to wear it quite a bit um, and like this you are feeling more secure and this was our outfit number two so pretty easy, but at the same time, you are definitely dressed up for the occasion. Wherever he or she is taking you, you're ready to go. And for our third outfit, we're kind of going to go casual, but dressed up, but ready for the party, or for whatever life throws at you, basically. So I'm going to go into some light denim jeans, and these are like two-tone jeans. This ones are from other stories, but um, they are quite old, but I will definitely find you some dupes because two-tone jeans have been so in at the moment, so many, many brands are doing them. And I'm just going to put a very simple button-down white shirt on. This one is one of my favorites. It's from H&M Studio. It also uh, really needs an iron, but uh, we will <laughs> just go through this and I will feel really ashamed for the fact that I am wearing an unironed shirt but that's really me in a nutshell I don't like ironing I keep telling you that the reason why I like this one is because it has like this really nice details and the back is longer than the front but any white shirt that you feel good in will do or any kind of white blouse doesn't actually have to be white a blouse that you like and I'm gonna put my Chanel slingback shoes on they have a bit of a kitten heel, they add a bit of height, and they kind of add a bit of class to this random, a bit messy outfit, but I like it. And I'm just going to add a little bit of color to this outfit by tying this tiny little scarf from H&M, um, which I love. They have so many different styles and colors and patterns and fabrics. I definitely recommend looking into these little scarves because you can wear them on your head, you can wear them on your neck, you can put them on your bag or you can wrap them around your hands like a wrist as well and like that it just a bit adds a bit of texture, a bit of color, brightens up, livens things up and um, yeah it's really cute I think it's about seven pounds and they are definitely still available in store so we have a little bit of color going on and then if you do want to layer up I would probably go for something like a biker jacket you could go for a denim jacket or a camel coat trench coat you can either go for a classier bag like this little Nile bracelet bag from Chloe or you can go a bit rock chick and go with a black studded bag. Who are you? Are you a classy, lovely lady? Or are you a rough around the edges rock chick? I don't know. I am definitely, I don't know who I am. One day I'm this, one day I'm that. That's why I have both of these bags and that's why my outfits are so confused. But I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you do like it. All right, you guys, we are gonna move on to our next outfit and we are gonna go into some color in fact i'm gonna go into some flared trousers this ones are from zara 
and they are this beautiful burgundy color and Zara at the moment have some beautiful suits and I'm gonna put a blouse on this blouse is from Marks and Spencers it is currently available because I bought it uh, when I was filming one of my come shopping with me videos I love the color love the fabric it's like a shiny satin I'm gonna tuck it into my trousers I love the long cuff detail it's just a very romantic beautiful uh, shirt you can wear it to work but I think it's very appropriate for a day night especially for Valentine's Day and here I kind of have a choice of shoes I can go either back into my Le Boutin stilettos or I can go with a bit of a rock stud from Valentino I think I'm gonna go with my Valentino I wouldn't necessarily run out and try to buy new things just for a date night unless that makes you feel better because we girls we love to wear something new and for some reason that makes us feel so much better about ourselves and you could go just like this and I love like a slim fit trouser with a bit of an oversized shirt it looks a bit 70s I like it especially with my hair living um, a life of its own at the moment just grab a bag you're pretty much ready to go but if you do want to layer up you can layer up, you can go for a blazer, trench coat, camel coat, bike jacket. This is the blazer that I bought in Zara when I bought these trousers. It's like a tweed, a bit of a Chanel style jacket. And that's it. I am more than ready. I love the combination of colors here. I think when you're wearing a dark suit, sometimes it's important to put a light shirt on or a light top on just to lighten up your face a little bit. So yeah, what do you guys think about this outfit? Would you go on a date like this? I definitely would. I better tell Jay to invite me on a date. And we have one more outfit left and this one is definitely for colder weather. It's more of a cozier outfit but I really like it as well and for me when you look very cozy there's something romantic about like looking very cozy. Is that a thing? Did I just make that up? And I'm gonna go into a light knitted skirt. This one is from Zara. They kind of do them pretty much every year. Quite a few brands actually do uh, skirts like that. And I'm just gonna leave the blouse in just because I am layering. And this is just to give you an idea that you can put like a dressy a blouse or a shirt underneath the jumper. So that you can take it off if you're going to a cafe or something like that. But I am pretty much going all cream. I'm gonna put my long Zara boots on. The jumper that I'm wearing is from Mango, but it did sell out. But like I said, I will try to find you something similar. I'm looking very pale and very cream, but we are gonna fix it with a little bit of color and a little bit of pattern with this little bum bag. This one is from Mango as well. And I'm just gonna tie it on my waist and I'm gonna gather the jumper out just a little bit. But also it will give you a little bit of waist if that's what you're after. And if you want to layer even more, you can go for a camel coat or a trench coat. Put a little beanie on, some gloves, and you're cozy, you're cute, and you're ready for your date. I love, love, love this outfit. And you can go for some color when it comes to the bag. You can go for some red gloves, for example, if you're wearing like a red lipstick or something like that. I think it's super cute. And at the same time, you do look very feminine. You look elegant. You have made an effort. You put a thought into this outfit. He or she will totally appreciate it. Even if I say so myself. What do you guys think of this one? This is our last outfit. Which one was your favorite? So you guys, this is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you got some inspiration for Valentine's Day or any date night, any day of the week, any time of the year. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye! Happy Valentine's Day, everyone! I love you. I love you! I'm sure she loves me back.